Hey, hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today we're gonna make a super cool design. This is a design that um, I'm experimenting because I'm having a birthday party and the theme is TikTok. Yep. So what I think about TikTok is the symbol, right? That symbol that um, I I tried before, I made it before in other ways. So, but this is a way I think we can make it using just four balloons, which is really cool. You know, the colors of TikToks are these ones, but two of these, like the black and the white, are gonna be 260. And the thing is, usually you just see it, these three colors, black, pink, and turquoise. But I'm thinking, um, how to make this design as a balloon twisting uh, idea. So it came with the idea of makes the base, you know, the, the, the center white. So you can make it any color, but I think white is gonna look better. I'm gonna show you the first attempt, which I think it's um, it's really cool. So if I see it, yeah, there is the design. So this is a musical note, right? It's a musical note, but using the TikTok colors. So that's the idea. Remember, this is something that you can make as a balloon twister at events. So that's the idea to make something, you know, that represents, you know, um, what is the symbol of TikTok because the thing is to make it exactly, you know, the details, um, it will be probably more elaborated. So this is a design I think that I like it and I want to share with you the ideas. This design doesn't have any glue, it's only balloons. Then I try thinking, what about if I make this part longer? And this came, this idea came. So at the end, you know, the white, you decide if you want it to, people to see it or not, but it doesn't really matter much because it's white. Um, that's not the main attention. I think the whole idea of using the colors, you know, is the idea. So let's try this and let's see what happens. The thing is, look, I'm sure you can make it better. It's all about um, practice. You know, like kind of like feel the design and see if you can change it to make it better. You can always share in the comments your ideas. But um, I think I'm, I like it and I want to share some techniques with you, especially this this part. Look, this part, how it's connected. It's uh, an idea that I think is going to work great. I'm going to show you the back. So it's about, you know, stretching the balloon. And that way it's kind of like with the pressure stretching, it's going to look a state more uh, stable, I guess. So this is the design and please tell me in the comments if you like it and if you have more ideas how to make this better, you know, everything is always very well appreciated. Um, your comments are really good. So let's start it. Okay, I think if you make this in a party, especially if the theme is TikTok, they're gonna love it. Now, this can be in a bracelet or a headband or anywhere, you know. My plan is to probably attach it into a girl, you know, a balloon little girl that is holding, you know, this symbol. So that's gonna be the special balloon shape I'm gonna make for the birdie girl. But I think if I'm going, if I'm in the birthday party, someone wants the symbol of TikTok, I can make this. Let's do this. So you first are gonna inflate the 260. Now, you just inflate it, a finger tap, okay? Take the air out a little bit so it's soft and squishable. And what you need to make with this, it's four finger bubble, approximately, another four finger bubble, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect, just try to do your best and try to make these bubbles not that tight. So another, you twist it together, four finger bubble, another four finger bubble, twist it together. Then another four finger bubble, roll it. And then, you know, and then you're gonna squish and then make another four finger bubble. So this is just four finger bubble all together. Okay? That's the idea. You lock them. And you have this. Four finger bubbles. All together. Now from here, I like the idea of making like three finger bubbles, soft and squishable, pinch twist, another three finger bubble, soft and squishable, pinch twist. And we can try these ways, or we can add another one, because in these ones, the way I made it is like three finger bubble, you know, so we can do that. But I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible, and I'm gonna try and see how it will look if we just try with two pinch twists here. 
white. Let's see. I'm gonna go up and another up and maybe one more, okay? So all that, it's four plus four plus four. 12 finger long, twist, and then like two or three finger bubble, twist, two or three finger bubble, pinch twist, I mean. Now, you can cut this, you don't gonna need it anymore, you can cut it, but so far we're gonna leave it this way. Now, if you make this, this is like the idea of a musical note, and usually with black, but this is kind of also what represents a frame, you know, with balloons. Now we're gonna grab our second balloon, it's gonna be the 260 black. And we're gonna inflate it again, eight finger tail. Okay, eight finger tail. Tied it. And the idea is to kind of go around this shape. So let's attach it here. I'm super, super happy and motivated. I wanna dedicate this video. I don't wanna forget to share it. Thank you so much, you know who you are. Um, you text me, I know I'm super excited. Thank you so much. Because I know you're sending a surprise and I'm, I'm, that's made me so happy. Thank you so much. Um, I want to, um, you know, like say thank you. And also all of you invite you to collaborate with this channel. Check out on the description of all my videos. Of, 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 of all my videos. You can see there I have a Venmo account, a PayPal account. I also have, um, what else I have there? I have my, uh, an Amazon wish list and Anything you see there, it will be very well appreciated here in Cheyenne, where I live. <laughs> yeah, so I can use it for my balloon stuff. Now, let's keep going with this. I just you know, inflated a finger tail, attach it to this two pinch twist, white, and then we're just gonna go around. Now, go around, see, all the way up to the pinch twist. Okay, all the way up there. There you go. Now, from here, look where is the design. You're gonna make another two pinch twist, okay? One three finger bubble pinch twist, another three finger bubble pinch twist, and that's gonna help this balloon to instead of being down, gonna go up. So let's make the finger bubble pinch twist, and then go up here and make another two finger bubble pinch twist, and now keep going and. Just yes, I'm gonna do that pinch twist. Oh, make sure you twist this very well. Let me try one more time. Two finger bubble pinch twist, another two finger bubble pinch twist. Let's see. And trying to twist it with everything so then it's kind of more long. Okay? So you have something like that. This is kind of helping the design to go up this way. Now we're gonna go up. So we're this way. I want to measure, technically it's the same size, 12 finger long, or whatever you measure that it goes up the same. Look, this um, opening here, if that happened to you, this is space, it's okay. Remember in between, there is going to be a 160 balloon. So it's okay, don't worry, okay? So now you're gonna put it there and with the rest, you're gonna, when you're here, this probably you're not gonna need it anymore. You can cut it, but I just um, wanted to keep it just in case something pops. So I'm gonna take it out right now, cut it, pass it around, tie it, and then this piece, so you have something like this. Okay, now this piece, you're gonna make another two pinch twist, one and two, so. Look how I'm connecting the pinch twist. I'm gonna show you this way. One on top of the other one, the same here. One pinch twist on top of the other one. Okay. Now, from here you have this, and then with the rest you have to squish it, accommodate things, and you will need to have enough balloon, and this is kind of the bummer. I had to learn how to calculate, to make like two finger bubble or three, pinch twist and another two finger bubble pinch twist and sadly I don't have enough and I want this design to be correct and nice so what you can do is instead of making 12 finger long here if you make it just with eight finger long it will look more like this you see just eight finger long 
and the, so that way if this is kind of approximately a finger long white 260 the black is going to be a little bit longer not that much maybe it's nine finger long that way um i think it's going to look more this this idea but i just wanted to try to make a little bit longer to see what happens and again i'm having kind of the the same mistake as this one that is longer and you know looks a little confusing but at the end trust me people is going to totally recognize that symbol so what also if you're going to make it longer like this one what you can do is grab another balloon or balloon scrap because i was practicing here i'm gonna just take you just grab a balloon scrap because you don't gonna need much of black to 60 and cut this piece and attach the new one then the balloon scrap okay let's pass around now, we'll have the pinch twist out of the top. This one is here. Now, here you're going to make like three finger bubble, one finger bubble, pinch twist, then three finger bubble, pinch twist. Okay, so if you can cut this piece, you don't need it anymore. You pull, pass it around, slide it until some more balloons are coming in a moment. But that's kind of like the basic so far. Okay, so you have this. And even if you do this, it's gonna it's still looking like a musical note. And I think it's a really cool idea to make music notes. Now, we want this to represent TikTok. That's why we're gonna use 160s. And in case you don't have 160s, you can try 260s and stretch it. And that's gonna make the shape more as a 160. But I have 160, which is really cool. This is a 160 wild so deco mix. You inflate it a little bit, like approximately four finger tail. Okay? Tied it. And you want this to be even as skinnier as possible. Okay? So when you're here, and this is the tricky part, so pay attention. You're going to start from this piece, and then we're going to go around, and then we're going to go up, and then we're going to go all the way. Yes, but it's going to have um, a tricky part. So I'm going to show you right now. Let's start. I'm just looking here this design because it's not like I never really pay attention exactly. But we can try with this technique to kind of keep the, the pattern, you know, about this, this design. So you're going to start here. So you can just connect it in there. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. So. Then I just have to look at my design and it's going to start this pink, very soft and squishable. I'm trying to kind of introduce it between the white and the black. So very soft and squishable and you're just going to go to this level. That's it. So how to get attached there. So this is what I found. You can measure where you want here, the center, this connection here. You see the four bubbles, 260 white there. So how you measure. Then you twist while you measure when it gets there. And you're going to twist, look, twist, twist, twist very well, a lot of times. And you're going to pass this in between these two bubbles. So you just pass it and it goes all the way between the other two whites. So you just have to pull. Pull, 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 pull. And you're getting closer. You just have to remember, you have to keep this shape. So you have to pull. By keeping the shape there. Okay? And so some things. Good. Now you have this. Yeah? So cool, right? When you have that, in the back is looking like this. Now, what to do here to make it more stable is you are there and you keep gonna keep twisting and squishing. That way, some balloon is gonna be like this. And that line is gonna help the design to go back. But, but you're gonna go back actually from the bottom. You see? So look in the back. People usually don't see the back, and I don't like even to see the back much. So you're gonna have this idea. Okay? And then you're gonna go all this is the front, and this is the back. And you just give it some pressure there and end everything in that position. So when you are here, just go in the sides you see the sides now you want in this bubble to better be black yeah 
So that's why one of these black balloons is gonna go instead. You can change this white, you can change it with the black. Just so then things look more like the way you want. So you can just play with that, then you want up. So what I notice here is that the back is gonna have these bubbles and in the front, just only one of these bubbles. Yeah, things change, but it's okay. And then you're gonna go up. See, you're gonna have to kind of keep going up all the way all the way and look at this idea if you don't like this to be open you can always squish make here like a like a little pinch twist or a little i mean little you know like four finger bubble soft and squishable if you squish your balloon it's gonna be like easier so that's what i'm doing just something to help to keep more the shape you want it and look how it's more tight to the balloon and you're gonna go up all the way to not the center in the, between the white and the black to the sides this way but when it's getting up you're gonna go behind the black that's what this is the back so you're gonna go behind the black it's kind of like a little bit of a spiral here yep a little bit of a spiral so now we have something like this i'm gonna show you how it's looking so far so you can see how cool is looking okay this is how it's looking so far now this piece you have to go now um kind of like a still behind or something like this That's it. you can push the bubbles and and then you can just put this in a little bit behind it like you see a little bit of that from the back a little bit so it's almost behind and when you are into this pinch twist you're going to make a pinch twist with the pink and the pinch twist pink is going to be in front of the black pinch twist uh -huh. now when you have this now you can go to the sides then it's more visible and put it there up so squeeze get it all the way up and finish with another pinch twist right here i'm going to cut this we don't need it anymore so you can see how it's looking so far. It's too tight and you have something like this. Let's see. This is the front. Look how cool. Now, it's we still need one more color. So that's the cool part. So don't think it's done. And you can, and that's gonna also keep, help to be more stable, all this, okay? So let's keep going. We have this. The last balloon is gonna be the 160 turquoise. Yep. It's kind of like crazy the idea, but it's very easy that just trying to, you know, keep going with the same pattern, the same, you know, way that I was doing with the white. Then with the black, we did the same. We went following the white, but we make this extra thing. Now with the 160s balloons, we did the pattern and go up, you know, the same well, it's way, the same road. <laughs> And then we go up and then we also do the same but what plays here is the idea thanks to this pinch twist you can kind of like twist you know um that in front in this it's more the black and so in the back is that 160 more and then when it goes this way twisting here into this pinch twist, you're going to be able to play that you want now this 160 pink is going to be more visible see you play with that idea some areas are more visible, the pink, some areas are more hiding, like here. Like same here, some areas are visible and then you're gonna put it inside in between, stretch the balloon as much as you can to have this idea. Now let's go with this balloon. It's the same idea, you don't need to inflate it much, like four finger tail, five, six, because the idea is if it's more soft and squishable and long, skinnier is better. Again, you want to start attaching it from these connections, okay? Here, like you have a pinch twist here, also you have three pinch twists here. So that's kind of like the pinch twist help you to keep this straight, you see? And that's kind of like a idea. You can always make more pinch twists, yes, but that's how I wanted to kind of like share. Before I made like, like three pinch twists white and then two pinch twists black, so it's up to you. Now, 
How I notice, um, if we're starting from here, it does mean this one is gonna go kind of like from this outside now, and it's gonna get inside this, this way, right? Let me see. So it's gonna go and it's gonna, you're gonna start this way and then it's gonna came to the back, something like this. So how to do that? You just make the shape and measure when you get into this intersection, measure. So that's what I'm doing. I twist and then I twist very, 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 very many times. So that twisting part is gonna help you keep things more stable. You see, I'm just squishing the air and twist it. So you measure there where you want it to be. And then the rest you're gonna introduce it again in between the two white bubbles and goes all the way to the other two white bubbles. So you can, now that you twist it many times, you can just pull and when you're getting closer, that's when you are gonna start holding the balloon the way you want it and pulling. Okay, and so this is what you have. Look how cool. If then later you can play more, more with the shapes, you know, and keep it the way you prefer. Look at that. We can, we're, gonna, we're gonna fix this in a moment because thanks to the pressure of this technique, things are gonna be more stable. So just for a moment, keep it there. Then you're gonna, if you can squish more, keep twisting and squishing, that's gonna help more. And then you're gonna just try to, let's see. Try kind of like from there, it's open the bubble that is the white and the black and try to squish it again. The same idea we did with the pink in this, at the beginning. And so you will squish it and pass it through all those things twists. Okay. When you are here, now remember, this one is gonna go all the way to the middle. So you can just go and measure all the way to the middle. Yep. So then you're gonna just squish, pull, so it's soft and skinny, and try to accommodate it there. Then you're gonna measure, you're gonna pass this through. And when you are here, now you can kind of like, if you are here in this side, you can even bend it a little bit and then attach it again into this part, just to give it some more effect. But it's not necessary, I know, but it's just I like it. So for the squish, it was gonna be easy to manipulate your balloon and pass it a couple of times. And when you are here, so you remember the pink is in the back, so you want that blue to kind of like be more disappearing. So you also, you want it to maybe in the bottom right here. You see, this is the back while you're looking. Now, this is your front. You're looking now the front. So now from here, you're gonna squeeze here. And it's in the back of the black. And then you're gonna go again and go up and put it all the way up. So you just have that idea. The rest, you cut it, you don't need it anymore. The thing is, don't complicate yourself uh, trying to do exactly the way you see it. Also, it's how you are uh, gonna feel. In that moment, you will see, oh, it must go this way, it must go that way. Now, things, you see, you can twist the way you prefer, which bubbles to be able for people to see it more. Uh, for example, here, you want people to see more the bottom, this one. And you have the design ready. So this is the idea. Now it's time to accommodate more because what we want is the black. The black for me is the one that is the, the main shape. So you want the black balloon that it's more you know visible. So now, for example, here it's kind of hiding. So that's why you're going to try to accommodate things the way the black is more obvious. And many ways to do that. This is how I just squish, you know, and play with that idea. The same with the, with the black and also in this area. You can always introduce more in between these little ones. And this, that's all kind of like more, you know, you, you kind of like pull and stretch and 
and play like if it's one day is coming out this way the other way is going to get into or like it's like you're kind of making some spirals so you're going to have something like that now it's going to be easy if i see the design <laughs> so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to look at the design and i'm going to keep it now remember you're just trying to do your best things doesn't have to be perfect um you know if this is just an idea the thing is it can help you maybe to figure out how to make it yourself something more you know like better or cooler um this is just an idea now another thing i'm noticing like for example if we put this design to be more uh into the the, the pink twist white and be just in the back you know people doesn't need to pay attention much of that so it can help you more like that's the back and in the front people can see more the the black and the 160 balloons so i think this is really cool to just be patient we are experimenting the two pinch twists can be in the back the white ones in the front the two pinch twists are black so that's a cool thing that I, we just discovered also the black pinch twist can go in the back and in the front you can try to connect more the um the black so let's happen let's see i mean again experiment i'm gonna put that the other pinch twist here the black so blacks goes in the front and in the back white so i think that's gonna be easier for you to understand right and then you just play with this idea i think it's a very cool thing it had lots of potential uh, i'm here just you know sharing the little things i discovered or, you know but I'm sure you can make these designs yours and make it much better. If you have more ideas, please put it in the comments. Of course, using glue dots is gonna be easy peasy, but I wanted to share with you what you can do just without using glue, only balloons. And you don't need Sharpie, and this can be part of another balloon decor. Thank you so much again, thank you all. Don't forget, please collaborate with this channel. Your donations on my PayPal or my Venmo totally motivates me to make more things. And I am very, 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 very thankful for all of you that um, watch these videos. Give likes, you know, thumbs up, I think. That's, and subscribe and uh, share with other balloon twisters. Because that also helps a lot, you know, to, to more people, to reach more people that wants to, you know, learn balloon twisting. If you have questions, also leave it in the comments. I'll try to respond to you. I know this may be a little bit best, but at the end, but it's not really that hard. I hope it's, you don't find it that hard because it's, it's, it is not that hard, you see? This was my first attempt and this is the one um, I made with you guys. And I think, um, let me see, right? Makes sense, yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you can make it. And if you do it, don't forget, share it with me on my Instagram because that's where you can contact me. That's where you can send me private messages don't try to be my friend on facebook facebook it's only for my community here in cheyenne wyoming that it's more like my clients that hires me for balloon parties you know parties birthday parties different type of events so you can like my page on facebook thank you so much i'll pack at global balloons but don't add me as a friend because i don't really have uh, i don't want to have friends on facebook that are balloon twisters i prefer to have my friends and you know people to connect more with the balloon art on instagram that's the way i think it's going to help me to organize more you know my social network and um so don't forget that please you know find me on instagram follow me and there you can send me you can tag me on the designs you learn from these tutorials i would totally uh, love to see that and that's it yes ciao ciao